How's everybody doing? I am just getting started. And... Uh, it's been a nice chill day. I've set up my air conditioner in my room, so I feel a lot safer gaming on my PC, which has been overheating a little bit. I've also cleaned it out, which helps as well. Uh, anyway, let's hang out with some Caves of Cud. One of my favorite games. We'll start out, we'll see what the daily challenge is. Student. Uh, Blinking tech is interesting. That means you, um, you teleport at uh, random intervals, I think. It's a little uh, scary. Put you in some bad situations, but... Yeah, let's give this one a, a, a go. Let's hit the random name button for a bit. Ooh, Tyler's cute. Um, I'm not gonna bother with the pronoun mod right now. Let's go for it. You embark for the caves of Kud. On our 20th of Tishru, E. Uh, you arrive at the village of Shepard. On the horizon, Kud's jungles strangle chrome steeples and rusted archways to the earth. Further and beyond, the fabled spindle rises above the fray and pierces the cloud ribbon sky. So here we are. Little, little, little village. There's me. I got a cloth robe on. I got a neck ring I have to take a look at. I got a walking stick. I got some claws. Fun. All right, let's see this neck ring, which is on my arm for some reason. Oh, it gives me 400 reputation with baboons. It's wonderful. 40 reputation with the worldly lamb of Parias, of Parias, King Kinfolk. Painted with a scene from the life of the ancient Sultan Yaxides. After conferring with Roots, Yaxis convinced them to help him found a tavern in Kirkamir for the purposes of wandering in search of jewels. They named it the Lustrous Tavern. That's a good name. Uh, I gotta remove this and... Actually, oh, it is on the arm, not the hand. No, it's a neck ring, though. Where's... Can I not wear the neck ring on, like, a part of my body that isn't my arm? I guess not. Maybe I don't have a neck? I don't know. That's fine. A walking stick only does 1d2 damage. Hmm. I'm glad the baboons are my friends. They won't... They won't invite me to their holy places, but they won't attack me either. Dogs... Dogs love me. I'm glad. They'll... I can usually pet them. I'm welcome in their holy places. Who else likes me? Not a lot, it looks like. A lot of indifference, a lot, a lot of hatred. Which is about standard, to be honest. Baboons. Yeah. I'm almost friends with Fida. Okay. So you can see I'm uh, this little figure with the walking stick. That's really cute. Uh, I should probably check out my stats. So I, I have burrowing claws, which means I can dig through walls. Uh, they also give me one armor, which is interesting. I cannot wear gloves ever. I could attack people with my claws, and that'd be fun. I'm carnivorous, which means I, I can eat raw meat without getting famished. Meals of raw meat I eat are more effective as as food. I, ca I can't eat foods that aren't meat, which is a problem. I should probably take up butchery as a skill. Uh, I can do force wall, which is very handy. It just makes it makes a um, a wall appear around me that can stop enemies and their missile weapons. 
We got pyrokinesis. That seems self-explanatory. Toast uh, a, an area of the map. Time dilation. Nearby enemies are slowed according to how close they are to me. Which is interesting. And blinking tick. There's a small chance each round that you randomly teleport to a nearby location. Um, so I got for skills. Can I just... So I got sudgel skill. I love to be toasted, uh, Jakob von Guten. Toast is an incredible verb. So uh, yeah, I, I have a bonus to using sudgels, such as my walking stick. I'm gonna try and buy a good mace, probably. And that's the only skill I have right now. Yeah. All right, let's move on, little guy. Oh man. Peace. Geria. Ria. Services are available. Let's speak to their wise person, I guess. Oh, see, I just teleported across the map to over here. <laughs> it happens. It's a blinking tick. Ooh, this tuck has got water. It's not owned by me, but nobody can see me anyway. And I just teleported somewhere else. Again. This, this might be a problem, honestly. Oh no, did I just get attacked by a living wall? Oh yeah, this wall? This wall's name was Marl. Lacustrine. Lacustrine? I need to look that word up. <laughs> um, just a second, I'm gonna open my phone so I can see what that means. Shout out to the devs for words. Lacustrine, definition. Relating to or associated with lakes. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So, like, a uh, 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 stone that forms in, like, water. Cast in lime-rich mud, put their million-year-old affairs on display in chalk-white shine. So, so can I talk to this wall? No. Oh, did I accidentally attack the wall and, like, wake it up? Because I do have those burrowing claws which can destroy a wall. Oh, that's what happened. The wall didn't attack me. I attacked the wall, and it was like, hey. Oh, so Marl is just the material. Okay, so this isn't a living wall. But living walls are a concern in this game. There's a leech just hanging out. How do you feel about the Seekers of the Sightless Way? It's very judgmental. <laughs> I, I'm judging this, this leech. I'm quite fond of them. Live and drink, friend. And so I have a mod installed that allows me to kiss strangers? I don't know how it works. Oh, it's Apple Farmer's son. Chat with them. Once I had a dream about eating a concentrated still beard gland. Paste one, one serving. It was horrible. Do you have any interesting weapons? I have this walking stick. Oh, is that all? Have you ever seen a flawless crystal greatsword? No, oh, I, ha I haven't seen one. How do you like to slay your enemies? Uh, I'll cleave them with a weapon. That sounds unpleasant. <laughs> do you have any tasty food? I have some bear jerky. Oh, I guess that is edible. Uh, I have my burrowing claws. <laughs> Okay, well, the apple farmer's son. I'm done with you. <laughs> There's the apple farmer. It, in the base game, there was there was previously only the apple farmer's daughter, but now I think they've added the, the son, or else that's a mod I installed also. <laughs> you look the kind of person that might carry a long blade. Well, that's not true. It's true. Do you ever fantasize about just slashing people? Let, let me know in the chat if uh, if, if you if you ever have such fantasies. Uh. No, that sounds bad. Oh, I guess it is. Sorry. <laughs> I think long blades are kind of neat. What do you think of succulents? I, I'm quite fond of them. They are lovely, aren't they? 
<laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave this weirdo alone. Uh, go back th through this house, I guess. And find like the mayor of this town, I guess. Get me my starting quests. This is the warden of the town. Oh, let's just water with the warden. I make the village like me more. Yeah, my reputation is up. And antelopes also, I guess, like me. Live and drink, friend. Let's chat. Once I had a dream about eating a void glander paste one serving. It was delicious. Did you know brewing steelbird gland paste one serving can sometimes make food that bestow stunned gas breathing on whoever eats them? That is unfortunately true. Oh, I think it sounds wonderful. <laughs> Once I had a dream about an iron short sword, and then the next day I got hit with a rock. Do you ever think about just stabbing people? <laughs> no, that sounds bad. It does, doesn't it? How scary. Gordon smiles at me. Jacob. <laughs> um, I keep walking into walls and attacking them, which is unfortunate. Just sit on this floor cushion for a second. Ooh, a painted floor cushion. This item is painted with a scene from the life of the ancient sultan, Marase. One starry evening, a babe was found swaddled in a copse of sacred trees with a commanding sword in each hand. That saw a babe he came to be known as Merase. What a great story. I love to be found as a baby, just wielding two swords. <laughs> and just like a bunch of sacred trees. If I had this pillow, I would have reputation with a clan. So now that adds a bit of a story about a ancient sultan to my uh, my journal. Uh, oh, I just blinked again. Uh, if you didn't join me at the start, we're playing the, the daily, which includes the uh, negative uh, mutation blinking tick, which means that sometimes I just teleport. You know, it just happens. Uh, here's the the zealot. usual NPC. Through the great salt desert, the six day still splits the earth in two. Seek there the grandeur of Shekinah, first among fathers. Release yourself from the burden that chrome bears on your sickly flesh. Go now. What waits for me there? Deliverance waits for all pilgrims. So you'll find the cathedral, magnificent in its splendor. There are statues erected in honor of the Ar Argent Fathers. They are there are sublime reliefs depicting our most cherished occasions. Here, too, the wisdom of Ecclestad II, our highest priest, and make a donation at the sacred well. Worship at the light sculpture of Shekinah himself. You'll, stand, you'll find other pilgrims among the merchant tents at the Salt Grounds Bazaar. Other converse and priests, you will be among friends. Very well. I will make this journey at some point, maybe. If I, if I live. I'm watching you, adventurer. I thought we were friends, Warden. What's in this? Nothing. Okay. Uh, so, oh, I just teleported again. It happens. Of course, with my burrowing claws, I uh, attack the walls when I move into them. Ooh, an Iron Maiden. Wow. There's a hookah. Next. Another Iron Maiden. Uh, a bookshelf with a history of this village. Let's read that. Beyond the Gulf of Time, on the first day of winter, Nishwurun, Nishwurushun, <laughs> Nishwushrun, Nishishur, founded Shepad with some cr krillid in each hand. From then on, the villagers of Shepad were known as the people of Krillid. Love to get history about places that is procedurally generated from this game. It's great. Uh, shout out to, J to, um, to Jason who does the um, the procedural stuff. I want to say a lot of a lot of the time. What do you think of baboons? I'm quite fond of them. Oh, you must keep awful company. What do you got against baboons, friend? I really love bashing my enemies. 
I think I could probably make a staff. I think sudges are kind of neat. Okay, and let's... I, I want to trade with this merchant anyway, even though they're a jerk. Also, I, apparently I stole this uh, hookah by accident, which, you know, who hasn't that happened to, honestly? I don't have much to trade right now. Um, I would like to get a better weapon. Uh, something that doesn't do just 1d2 damage. <laughs> but I'm not seeing a lot. The subtitles seem to be pretty flat damage. Um, so I'm just going to sell that. And get out of that room. So the blinking tick is rather annoying, i got to say. Ah, here's the, here's the mayor, Yamamut Wise, who is flying. Let me just, I want to I look at this guy's description right now. Oh, she doth pale red apples by her cheek, that cheek which doth proclaim the right of spring, and theretofore, heretofore, hath nature's grand technique. Ne'er ripened lips so red from which to sing. Be gone, foe son, I know thee for a fraud. <laughs> Her fair skin illuminates the day, all gold is brass, and every jewel is flawed. When set beside the sums her eyes might pay, the spindle which from on porch descends must surely be her likeness brightly wrought, and as a likeness fails to apprehend the artless beauty that its maker sought. Did I know love or beauty? No, for shame, for I knew neither till they spoke her name. Face demeanor, docile. Loved by the villagers of Shupad, hated by the villagers of Hakish for burning one of their leaders in effigy. <laughs> Admired by the seekers of the sightless way for explaining the meaning of the canticles chromaic. Wearing a, a, a wreath hat made of wood. Uh, has, she's, she's got wings. She's got a short bow. Let's interact again. This is the mayor of this town. Wanderer, welcome to the village of Shupad. We are a society who esteem the dish known as Kujo about and dishonor those who profane the Krillins. As long as you are respectful, you may drink from our fresh water and quench your thirst. I'm looking for work. Friend, there was a time where my kin would be hunting and gathering all day. But after learning the goodness of the dish known as Kujo about, we changed our ways and imagined new customs. May brain rust take us. Our venerable Krillin was stolen from us. We need, to need someone to recover it, friend. Will you do it? You hear it's been taken to the reach of wife to Rince Willow, legendary young ivory. We will reward your assistance. Live and drink. Yes, I will find your thing. Uh, let's do a water ritual real quick. Share some water. Uh, would you teach me your ways? Okay, I trade some reputation with this village so that I can now butcher corpses, which will be very important for me because I am a, a carnivore. I cannot eat uh, plants. And a lot of the food in this game is plants. So I will need to make my own food from my enemies. My enemies. Oh. It's very disorienting to just blink into different places. Fire. I'm glad I got the. I'm really glad I got that skill because otherwise I'd be kind of screwed in a lot of ways. We're out by. Oh, hello, friend baboon. <laughs> Just have a chat with this baboon. Very well. Once a globe had told me about an implant full of right hand bones. Did you know that heavy weapons like maces and clubs can sometimes stun people when hit? I have seen as such. It is glorious. <laughs> Very good, uh, Jacob. Uh, the reach of wife is every time Austin describes Rosanna putting her hand on the small of Hadrian's back. Very, very good. Oh. Hey. A jilted lover. What's the type of vine that attacks people? I'm going to kill it. Ooh, kudzu. I do not want to attack the kudzu because it uh, can rust items. Oh, my first enemy of this game. Alright. I forgot that I am a uh, rather cool... I just shamed this this snapshot, which is kind of like a... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? A null. They're hiding the people. Is this like... 
This is a Tetris uh, remix. I, I have this random um, random playlist of uh, royalty-free songs playing. And in the ambient category, apparently, is this Tetris. Okay, so that, that really burned that guy up. I take this wire strand, take this uh, battle axe. So yeah, my toast ability is very good. So we're usually come to here out on a quest to find wire. And so I'm gonna collect those if I find any. And of course that means the dungeon is here. Rust wells. Um, the standard starting of this game, before they added the procedural villages, had you starting out from a town, you'd get the quest to come to this, this specific place. Oh, see, so yeah, I just blinked again, down to the bottom of the screen. That is super disorienting. Oh, a young ivory. Young ivories are these little um, spike creatures that attack you from uh, from the ground and surprise you. Let's see time dilation. I want to see what the how that works. See, as I get further away, that guy moved slower. Snapjaw Scavenger. God, the writing is so evocative in this game. I love it a lot. Tussocks of fur dressed skin stretched over top muscle. Upright he stands, but he looks ready to drop onto fours. His snout snarls and his ears twitch. He barks and his hyena tribesmen answer. And now he's dead. I'm gonna take his mace. I guess a flat damage of 2 is better than a 1d2. So I'm going to remove my walking stick. And attack, uh, use the iron mace. Oops, that's the wrong... Strength bonus cap of 2. Daisy's on a critical hit, which is really nice. and I just teleported in. Oh no. And this character's dead. So that's not going to put me very high on the, on the list at all. I'm 18th place on the dailies. I wish I could browse higher up the dailies. Yeah, shared my water and then left to the rest wells and died immediately. So I'm gonna make an actual character now. Um, do I wanna play a mutant or a true kin? Um, I haven't played a true kin in a long while, so I'm gonna do that. Hit point regeneration is based on ego, so maybe I do want a little bit of that. Willpower. Yeah, Hang with merchants. A couple points there. A couple points. Mm. Intelligence is fairly important because humans will depend on skills. Some strength, more toughness. I think that'll do. Now, there are different um, societies of humans. Each with their own, um, like, starting loadouts. So this one has two strength, one toughness, and one willpower additional. Plus 15 to cold resistance, a long blade, a shield, and the skills, to, as well as a bow and rifle. Uh, Praetorian, console. I'm just going to flip through these real quick. A eunuch. Acrobatics. I do like axes, actually. I'm gonna take this. It's got dual wield. Uh, I'll take this night vision. How do I? Yeah, 
night vision cybernetics is good. Let's give this, this person a name. Putar Nertir. And this is from a mod, and it's actually incredible. You can set all kinds of things about a gender, including a selection of both real and procedurally generated pronouns. Uh, I can set, set that. If I hit F1, it can, it'll select random. Um, because I'm a human, it just has the two set, which I think is, there might actually be a bug. I have to see. But when, when you play a mutant, it, it just that makes up its own like gender identity, which is fantastic, in my opinion. Let's go for a they, them, and then hit the name again, because I guess I lost it. Jnadru? Mm. Mitra. That's, that's a fun name. Uh, let's start in Joppa, which is the default city. And it's something I'm more familiar with than just random. Hello, Ace uh, Giac. Uh, I'm using some mods that you made <laughs> in here. So yeah, here's my little, little person. It's me. I got night vision because I hate carrying things to see in the dark. I just I want I want a dull wheel because I'm a nerd. Uh, I'm in search of work. Uh, I'll, I will do your task. Wait, this is the mayor, huh? Or no, no. Oh right, Meme is the farmer who usually gives you. I haven't played a lot in recent times, so I yeah, I'm a bit mixed up. Wander, orphan of the salt, hear me. To the north and the west, through the great salt desert, the six days still. Blah 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 blah. We've already read this. Uh, you intrigue me. I will make your journey. Sneak in here and do the traditional robbing everything in this town. Take all. Very traditional uh, starting area, robbing all the houses. If, if the door is closed, they can't tell you did it, so. <laughs> Hello, kitty cat. Stephus, Sisyphus meows. You start to glow. It's always fun to talk to the cat what makes you glow. Get that. It's a traitor. Welcome, friend. What do you desire? Stuff, probably. Maybe things. Oh, I got books. Sorry, what? Second. <laughs> okay, tunic. I got a, a counterweighted steel potter's knife, which is actually decent. It's got plus one to hit. Long thin knife of steel, plus one to hit. Three bonus from strength. Causes bleeding on crit. Nice. I got a steel hand axe in my other hand. Which also has a plus one. I have a missile weapon. Red gloves. I already got moccasins. Okay, I can sell the other stuff. Uh, let's check out these books. Heirlooms of Kud. Attachment to physical objects is a peculiar phenomenon. <laughs> Often the bonds we, we form transcend physical values. They are steeped in history and rolled in tradition and they elude rational explanation. It's unsurprising, then, that my research findings indicate certain preferences are held by the myriad factions of could for certain types of items. These preferences, each surely sculpted by some historical event lost to memory, persist in the veneration of certain cherished heirlooms. I have assembled a catalog of these preferences for posterity. Piled from the notes of Shiba Hegedeus. Next page. Okay, so this is just like a list of what items different groups like. 
Voters of Joppa, they love the festivals. Crabs, they love, they love shoes because they got all those legs, probably. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm delighted by imagining a uh, crab with all those shoes. villagers. Most of these are procedurally made. A humanoid mimicry of animals. Without exception, however, all creatures seem to detest the practice of wearing the, the severed faces of their kin. Curious. <laughs> hmm. Schroeder dinner page from the Anna Annals of Kud. Chapter unspecified. Untangled tasks. Ta tasks. Choose a faction chapter to insert your good deed. Whoa. This is interesting. I've never seen this item before. Nary a scholar knows who composes the Annals of Kud, or when the chronicling began, but the Quantivists devise a way to entangle their own pages with the official ledger, allowing them to insert themselves into the histories in a favorable light. A few such pages remain. Huh. That's really neat. That's a very neat thing to have in this game. Got some items. I'll probably go trade those plastic trees if I can for the starter quest. Um, first, let's. Thanks for the follow. I'll, I love to get a follower. I I, I need to get like a custom animation up there for follows. I'm using the defaults right now. Um, you know I don't need to keep this book because it's worth a lot of money. Especially at the start. Get some food. For cheap. I'd like to get a short bow. Also. Actually, no, I'll find the short bow. That'll just happen. Four folding chairs is very important if I'm gonna see these as enemies from WrestleMania. Buy some arrows. Sure, I'll pony up some drams. Or no, you'll pull, pony up some drams, rather. Okay. Uh, some bandages. There's a couple. Very complete. Far, not hating these this um proceed this uh, random music player thing as royalty free player. Uh, oh, I got the fishing rod, which I believe Ace made. <laughs> that was a mod. I, I haven't I haven't been able to try that out yet, but I'm excited to. And the fishing. Maybe I'll, I'll buy that, since I have a lot of water right now. Put in some drams. Yeah, I'm running, I'm running, I think all of them? I think I'm running all of them right now. All of the mods. I might, I might be wrong, there might be new ones since last. Okay, let's chat, that's what I wanted to do. No, I know, it's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to uh, take that quest. Get a knickknack. Here's your knickknack. Get that free XP. Take this folding chair. I guess. Just, you have to have to promise to hit Jushin Thunder Lager with it. Um, I'm just gonna give him my spare grenade so I can level up real quick. And there's the wire quest, which I failed. I died during last time. Uh, now I got some points. Um, I have axe 
and have dual wheel right now. Uh, yeah, I, I think the, the mods are very cool, so I'm happy to, happy to have them on. I think so that I can get hurdle and then I can get charge later. That way I can sprint without a penalty to my defenses, and then charge is a, a melee attack with bonus to penetration. So yeah, now we've, we've got the quest from the, the the farmer in town, so we can head on north to the the caves. Let's see what's eating the water vines. Spoiler: it's a it's a creature. Do, do, do. Making our way downtown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'm pretty digging this ambient playlist. rock. There's the stairs. I'm just going to take a peek around. There's usually stuff around. If, if, if you're interested in the music, I have both the, 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 the bot and, uh, and the, um, the panel widget on my Twitch page, which displays the list of like the last songs played. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's, it's been useful to have a source of music that is uh, stream safe. Uh, yeah, nothing around, so let's go down into the cave. And everything goes green because I have night vision. Uh, got flurry. I'm going to set this as ability one. Okay, so right there is one of these seed spitting vine. Delicate viridian tendrils curl inward and then spring open and loosen seeds at high speed. So that, those things are a pain. They, uh, oh, good, that archer just killed <laughs> that thing. They, 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 they tend to shoot you a lot. Uh, get that rock dagger, sure, why not? Ammo. Somebody's lost. A scavenger. Ooh, a lantern no worm spawn. That sounds useful. Hideous plated skull with a gaping beak. Plus one ego and provides light. I'm gonna equip that. And I'll also take the long sword. That is a rad hat. Some, some worm's skull. Which, I don't know if that's a thing that worms have, but I'll take it. Oh, we got another archer coming. Got two of them. I'm doing lots of damage right now, which is nice. I'm not, I don't play a lot of Trukin because mutations are cooler than being a normie. Blood all over the <laughs> this gear. What's my armor? Such. Band-Aid, I guess. Yeah, I, I'm not very good at builds, <laughs> is my thing. <laughs> uh, I just kind of have some outdated knowledge of how they work, I guess. Uh, I want to make camp real quick so I can make sure I have some food in me. With an axial bones, a solid spangled boar tooth, and a ground of seeds, but delicious. Camp here, get a little break. Oh, here comes an enemy. And boom, dead in one hit. This knife is very nice. There's a lot of ammo around here. I 
just keep hitting these guys and getting a kill instantly, which is also nice. Ooh, a beaded bracelet. That's a trade item, I believe. Scoop up all this ammo. <laughs> Never know when I'm gonna need it. Get some arrows. This guy. This, this. Oh, some gloves. Nice. And they're painted. I'll, I'll go back for that lore in a second. And then I'm done cleaning out this room and put on these gloves. I should play more Trishkin, probably, because I usually just die early on. But also, I, I, I can't resist a mutant. I can wear this bracelet, so why not? And I want to look at these gloves. Oops, I looked at, them. I looked at my boots instead of... <clears throat> this, pa paint, this item is painted with a scene from the life of the ancient sultan, Etherpeter. Ithrapater in 331 Ithrapater, the scourge of Nawar, the scarlet miniature glacier died of natural causes. Hell yeah. Hello, friend. Apparition online. That's Arandi, I believe. My good pal. I always forget usernames, honestly. I'm not a smart. More moccasins. I already got moccasins, so I'll take more moccasins. Let's kill this dread root, which is a plant that scares you. Uh, take water skin. I don't need the torches because I got night vision. Fine way for more ammo. An extended hand axe. What's an extended do? Oh, can be used as a pole arm. Yeah, I haven't played a lot with the new UI either. I, I, I've been playing this off and on for like d uh, probably a decade, honestly. I don't know when did it, when did it come out? When did it first get posted on the Bay Twelve forums? Like a long time ago. And uh, I've never gotten quite good at it, but I've I still love it. I've learned a little bit here and there from like guides, especially like Kaylin's interactive fiction guide, which is fantastic. The uh, Hindrance Guide to Could, which has lore and is now canon, <laughs> which is for this great. Ooh, overalls, those are cute. I have the same stats as my other thing, so why not? I'm really loading up on ammo in here, which is great. I still don't have a bow, which is whatever. I, I can find a bow eventually. Somebody will drop a bow. So I'm... Oh, see, it's better. And I'm level up. Ooh, a jewel-encrusted short sword. Hell yeah, let's take a look at that. Plus 100 water barons. I think uh, the furthest I've ever gotten was to get to Golgotha, and then I just died in there, I think. Or, or maybe I got out of Golgotha and then just died of the diseases that Golgotha gave me, <laughs> which <laughs> is great. Let's eat some mouse quick. get to the next floor. This game has a nice little auto explorer slash run to uh, to the nearest uh, stairway option, which is 
handy can be one of the more tedious things to do is remember how to get back to where you wanted to go. Plus one axe is okay. More leather moccasins. We're seeing a lot of leather moccasins in this cave. It's wild that this is one of my favorite games, and then like one of my friends is now on the team. Uh, well, not a dev, but a um, community manager. Uh, Shadows uh, Ivy. <laughs> Ooh, crocusins! Hell yeah! Crocusins, which are a well-worn pair of crocodile leather boots. Gives me plus 100 reputation for unchilled reptiles. It really goes with that uh, book I had on the mimicry. Some some creatures will be fine if you're wearing part of them. You know, I, I guess that counts crocs. Ooh, a buckler. A feathered buckler. What's, what's feathered do? 100, 250 reputation with birds. Hell yeah, I'm gonna be a friend of birds. Clip that. How am I doing with reputations in general? Uh, I always forget which button takes me to where. So birds love me now. I'm not welcome in their holy places, but otherwise I'm pretty high up there. And they trade secrets with me. me. I'm a friend of birds. Hide in this corner until this guy sneaks up and then just take him out. There's my short bow. Quit. Auto. Let's fire going. What's the shortcut for uh, auto explore again? Numpad zero. Oh, I... Uh, they slow down how uh, Auto Explore works? That's actually really good. Because I, I, I like to take a more leisurely stroll through. Oh, those, are, those are cool emotes, IMO. I want to get some emotes going. I have some friends I'd like to try and get commissioned for some cool emotes. Once, once I once I pass my uh, little goal on there for followers, then then I'll be good. Oh, that is a bear. Only the only the familiar nursery rhyme courses through your ba brain. The grizzly bear is huge and wild. It has devoured the infant child. The infant child is unaware. It has been eaten by the bear. with that guy and then so furry hit yeah. through the bear's armor. The bear does not penetrate my armor. That's you love to hear it. Seven dials with my knife. How's she doing? Injured. And the bear is dead. I don't, I don't want to take the bear corpse, no. <laughs> That's a bit much to carry. 40 pounds is generous. That sounds like a small bear to me. How am I doing? Wait. Let me know. Um, I'm just testing some new UI stuff. And let me know if I need to move things. or. I know it's hard to find a good place to put stuff for could because there's a lot of things I'd want to see on the screen. Probably all of them, if I'm realistic. Get the Snapchat Warrior. I'm having a good fight with the Snapchat Warrior. Honestly, I, if, if, I, if I could get something that's just like a frame and then shrink my game screen into just a small frame. I, I, my friend does something like that on her or their UI. An engraved iron short sword. Let's get that. I want to see what's engraved on this. I 
grave is the scene from the life of the Sultan Sushid the first in ninety nine. Sushid the the corn silk snowflake snowflake icicle skipper died of natural causes. He was ninety eight years old. Hell yeah! Give me all these histories of these dead kings. Right, I already saw that. Somebody over here, so I'm just gonna sneak over and stab them. <laughs> like you do. I'm doing okay right now. Alright, oh, I had a trivia points. Um I have a decent ego. Um, toughness is always useful. And let's I wanna run over and get charge. Because I really like you having charge. Wait, do I already have charge? Next, next level. Voice of smidge quiet. Okay, I can I can turn that down a little bit. Uh, yeah. Can you hear my air conditioner? I just I just got an air conditioner and in, put it installed in my room today, and that's how I'm able to stream because my computer is not overheating anymore. Well, I also got an air duster to clean it out, but. Worm skull. I mean, I already got a no worm skull, but I'll take that one for trade, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what's valuable, really. Okay, can't really hear it. Okay, perfect. Um, my room gets extraordinarily hot because it's a south-facing window with, like, it's it's a really old, crappy building. Like a, like a 50 year old apartment kind of thing. Yeah, cave spider. So, like, the windows are single pane, like, just the chunk of glass. It's on, I can't tell. Perfect. Shout out to, to my friends who helped me get stuff to clean my computer recently. Uh, I'd still like to get a new video card, which will run a bit cooler, but. As is, it's settled into a pretty decent temperature range. Like, I'm streaming a game and it's still sitting at like 46 Celsius, which is perfect. I am HO. Okay, let's hit clo minus on that and scroll all the way down to tactics. And get charge, which is one of my favorite attacks. And if I go here, I can set that. Let's set that as two. Yes. And I can set that as three. Yeah. S -s Sneak through the spider webs. Kill this dread root. Kill this jilted lover. I'm I'm kinda carving through things like butter oh, young ivory, let's kill that too. Why not? Wow, one arrow. Electrofuge. I'm really bad at looking at my health, I will say. I know it's a huge red bar now, but I'm still bad at like glancing down. Good lover. It's free experience. Although it, sometimes a jilted lover will really screw you up, especially early on. Another dread root. Another jilted lover. Another cave spider. Uh, ooh, let's show off my charge if I can. If I can get close enough. Um. Yeah. Oh, I'm brought up short, short, damn. That's on cooldown. Uh, 
Boom. Cave spider dead. Another cave spider dead. Load me up on XP. A battle happened here that I was not part of. Okay, where's the downstairs? Okay. Oh, another young ivory popping up. Oh. And we're here at the bottom. I can see lots of plants from where I'm standing. Um, I kind of want to get out of the way of these seed spitters right now, if I'm honest. And here comes a Gershling. These are the things that are uh, eating the plants. Black ooze drips from its fangs to its pallid leg things. It shudders in primordial ecstasy and lets out a shrill whine that pierces your skull. Beautiful. I love all of God's creatures. <laughs> Flurry. Get that corpse, because I need it for my quest. Oh, here's the, uh, the cultist. And they're dead. I just killed these dread roots. Sometimes they drop tubers, which are delicious. I am, I, I am HO. Water vines. Water vines are also delicious. So many plants in here. A beetle bum. Big bad beetle bum. Get flurry in. See now, this is a fight. This thing has a lot of. Yeah, we're both equally injured right now. Um, so actually, I'm gonna just sprint away real quick and then hit him with the charge. Which goes through the armor. Oh, and Beetle Bomb hits me. I'm getting pretty low on health, honestly. Oh no, I'm cornered. Oh dear, this might be the end here. <laughs> um, what do I have that I can... Oh, I have an acid grenade. It might hurt me more than it hurts them, honestly. But... Shit. Um, I have a high explosive grenade, too. It's... Just toss my <laughs> and I got him. I got one of them, anyway. I did not get the one that's right beside me. Whoops. But I did level up, which helps. Um, chicken endurance. Oh, and I'm dead. I could break the boulder, but I was so pinned in. And I probably wouldn't make it through in time. Um, yeah, that's the end of Mitra Diatru. Killed by Beetle Bum. And Red Rock. Yeah, that was that was alright. Had, had a fun little adventure. That's about how it goes most of the time. The mods are all in here. All from the Steam Workshop. There's lots of good stuff. I need to get a mod that my friend just made, which added a kobold type subtype, because my friend is way into kobolds. I have genotype, I guess, is what they're called. Um, it's a weekly challenge. Did I have it done this one? I don't think I have. Mutated human 
culture called Coon. <laughs> I'm on my little run. See how it goes. Welcome. Ooh, this is a nice little symmetrical starting area of the village, almost. Erudite choose by serpents. Yeah, they, they, they've put a lot of work into the uh, UI. Hopefully, eventually, it'll be the ideal way to play. Right now, there's some like parts that are not the best. I don't know. <laughs> Let's get this job. Okay. Sanctified cybernetic square wedge. <laughs> Find this holy chunk of money. Sure. Water. Let's eat a kebab. That's 14 years. It's a nice looking village. Okay, what do I got? I got this curry bomb banner, plus 200 reputation. Staff. I got a torch. I got a robe, and that's kind of it. Um, let's check out my. I don't even have such a skill. I got customs and folklore. Very good. I'm gonna begin the water, well, water ritual with a new cracker. Gain 25 bonus reputation. <laughs> nice. What else do I have? First aid. Tactics and tinkering. Tactics is good to have. Let's see if we can get this thing a little better for the weapon. I don't have a lot of drams to go around, but. Not there's anything wrong with the side wheel. It's nice to occasionally knock somebody unconscious slash stunned. Fish jerky. Have you ever seen a <laughs> eaten a fish jerky? Oh yes, it's delicious. Wow, how excellent! I have a bear jerky. Wow, that, that looks delicious. <laughs> I love having conversations with these people. Honestly, what a good game. Say yes to the. Guy, in case I end up at the stove. Why not? It's free XP. It's free real estate. Ooh, a historic hologram. I haven't actually encountered these yet. I'm gonna take a sip of water real quick. This hologram depicts a scene from the history of the village to shore. Years ago, on the winter solstice, Tarashum founded Tishur with a cybernetics credit wedge in each hand. From that day forth, the villagers of Tishur were known as the people of the cybernetics credit wedge. Fantastic. Yeah, let's go this one. As the gospel of, of the habitation of grains of the earth spread, folks herded in droves to the village of Tishur. I love village history. 
big shout out to the team for, for having cool procedural history stuff that I always want to read. Um, ooh, look at this chameleon, dude. Stay out of trouble, Nomad. Oh, it's the warden. Because they're very dangerous. I've seen as much. It is wonderful. Oh, how scary. Do you have any interesting uh, weapons? I have a staff. That seems dangerous. Weapons are dangerous. Anyway, I'm very busy. <laughs> Where are we at? Oh, we're way out in the desert. Visit this historic ruins. Level up. Colosseum's Ode. Is it? There's a shot. Level up. I got night vision, which is very useful. buy a new mutation right now. Oh. Slayer of the giant dragonfly. Whoops. Um force bubble. And stunning force. Bearings here. Stunch my wounds. Not bleeding. Okay. Um. And I have a missile weapon. Heal. Hide in here for a second. It's a hermit, a member of the Charmborn Brood. I'm probably gonna die right away here too. Oh, well. um, actually, let's just go for a little sprint. Let's sprint away. Oh, and there I am, dead by a null worm. <laughs> That didn't last long. How long have I been up? An hour and twelve? Mm, I might go in one more. I'm going to take my true kin agility. Oh, it's an outdated one. Damn. Leave that then. I'm gonna hit random character a couple times. See what it gives me. Ooh, this is kind of fun. He met a mutated human pilgrim. Heightened hearing, spinnerets, thick fur, cryokinesis, and telepathy. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go to Joppa again. Mm -hmm. Mehmet, real quick. I need work. I need search of work. Take it. Boom. Pilgrim, boo 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 boo, six. Good. We'll click this time. Free stuff, yeah. I love free stuff. Ready, gloves, a little bit of armor. Black robes.
robe so I can dress up as an organi Organization 13 member. Warden, real quick. Live and drink, friend. Talk to the elder. Live and drink, friend. Just skipping over a lot of this stuff real quick. Make some apple mats so I don't need as much water for a bit. My health regenerates better. Ooh, copper nugget. That's always nice. Water uh, water skins are always also nice. This gives you somewhere to put your spare water slash money. Spine fruit jam. It's a spine fruit. Yes. A persistent papaya. Oh, this is right click to look. Okay. Strange and colorful oblong shape, hardened by countless years in salt replete habitats. Its dogged insistence to endure in lepticality heartens you. <laughs> wow. And spine fruit, spiny fruit of fracti were mashed, set over an open flame, left out to cool, and jarred for later use. Bits of spiny pulp lay suspended in the fruity aether. <laughs> uh, I love describing a, a jam as fruity aether. Adds damage reflection base effects to cooked meals. Neat. And bear jerky adds HP base effects to cooked meals. Got another couple band-aids that I always forget to use anyway. Some grams. Um, yeah, let's keep cloth robe. Got a staff. Got a torch. Got some horse skin. My skills at wayfaring, self discipline. I can meditate each round to regenerate. Well, first, or one half normal height. Each round, you're confused, you have a willpower minus 10% chance to shake off the effect. Nice. Talk to this guy. Archive. Here's your knickknack. A weird artifact. Sure, why not? Of course, there's a secret hidden. Not so secret, I guess room hidden underneath the uh, town to go to the pond. I'm just gonna spin some webs, any size. Catch these thieves just like flies. Let's chill them. How's he doing? Injured. to the warden so that I can cover some health and have some uh, protective allies. Hey, kitty cat. Okay, let's go finish this guy off. Oh, where'd he go? 
Wow, well, now I'm confused. Oh, there he is. Spin some webs. Eat. Eat dirt. <sighs> dirt bag. Cast. Chill on him. Warden, thank you. I'm not very strong right now, as you can probably tell by me running away. easy to kill but there's a chance it can rust your armor which is not so great or your or your weapons also not great now I'm being surrounded by these baboons hey this group of baboons chill out let's spin some webs And I'm dead. <laughs> so, as you can see, I'm not super great at this game, but I love it. I love the flavor of it. And one day, I'll be okay at it. I don't know. Mods. Mods, help. Uh, so yeah, let's spin the caves of could for tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll bring up my mod list once again as I go out. Um... They're all from the Steam Workshop. Kyle just adds an NPC named Kyle. Love that one. Kyle's a friend. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. Uh, sure to follow, and uh, we'll uh, get some more streams going in the near future, hopefully. Now that my room is cool and not a hell for my computer to live in, we'll hopefully do more of these. Thanks, everybody, for stopping in, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.